My name is Joshua Schreier. I'm an associate professor of chemistry at Haverford College and a recipient of the Dreyfus Teacher Scholar Award. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about some of the work that we've been doing on using the toolbox of theoretical chemistry to discover new types of materials. We're not alone in this initiative. And in fact, in 2011, the White House released the Materials Genome Initiative, a cross-cutting funding project to support the development of, of new materials using modern computational tools, digital data, and high throughput experiment. And to this end, we've engaged in a number of, of new projects. One of these was the development of new high performance organic semiconductor materials. In addition to developing theoretical tools for predicting the properties of these materials, we've also used these tools in collaboration with experimentalists to design and actually synthesize air, new air stable high performance materials for electronics applications. Uh, a, an offshoot of this project has been the development of new types of materials for redox flow batteries. And using high throughput calculations, we were able to develop a number of new high performance candidates uh, that will provide low cost, ecologically friendly utility scale energy storage. Another area of research has been developing new types of membranes for gas separation, and in particularly looking at two dimensional materials such as graphene. In addition to characterizing fundamental physical properties, such as the role of quantum mechanical tunneling and surface interactions in these types of materials, we've also used these tools to help design new types of materials for gas separation. Another area of research has been to understand the properties of organically templated metal oxide solids. Although many of these have been synthesized in the laboratory, and they have a number of interesting properties, including uh, nonlinear optical properties and catalytic properties, uh, there's very little understood about the forces that hold the components together. And so using quantum mechanical calculations, we've been able to visualize properties such as where the lone pairs are localized. Uh, we've been able to quantify widely used hypotheses such as the charge density matching hypothesis, as well as uh, identifying non-covalent interactions and quantifying their role in the structural formation of these materials. Finally, a very recent project has been in the use of machine learning for inorganic synthesis, and in particular, using data from failed synthetic reactions that are not published in the literature to build machine learning models that help synthetic chemists do their work more effectively and, and with more structural novelty. In addition to showing that our models can outperform human experts in novel reactions, we've also shown that these reveal new overlooked chemical hypotheses. So in conclusion, I look forward to meeting with all of you at the Dreyfus Foundation, and thank you for your attention.